What's going on, Sagittarius? How are you doing? Hope you're doing super well. This is the Autistic Mystic, and this is gonna be your reading for the month of December, 2023. So in this reading, Sagittarius, we're gonna take a look at your overall general energy for December. We're gonna take a look at some things you uh, do not see coming. And we're also gonna get some advice from your angels and spirit guides for you regarding December, 2023, and so much more, Sagittarius. So before we begin this reading, as always, I do wanna let you know that you are very welcome here, Sagittarius in this space with me as we go through this reading and also happy birthday to a lot of the sun sign Sagittarius is out there. Now, if this general reading happens to resonate with you, Sagittarius, definitely smash that like button, subscribe down below if you have not already for future updates. I would also really appreciate that over here, Sagittarius. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and pull the energy for you and we'll see what's coming your way for the month of December 2023, Sagittarius. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing uh, this act of divination for the sign of Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and see what we got going on here for you, Sagittarius. Okay. <laughs> wow. That's a first. Holy moly. Wow. All right, Sagittarius. Really interesting energy that you got going on. It's really interesting to me that you have a 777 frequency. Uh, okay, I just want to show you. In the overall general energy, you have the Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of uh, Cups, and the Seven of Swords. Whenever the number 777 comes out, especially in a three-slot spread, the universe is trying to tell you something. The number seven is a very spiritual energy. Uh, it also has to do with being a teacher. Like, sevens are the smartest people. Okay, or some of the smartest people. They're teachers, very spiritual energy as well. It's a very lucky number. So something's going on here very big for you. It's, you know, what I get from this reading is that the choices that you're going to make in uh, December, especially when it comes to you disconnecting from something here, it's going to feel very mundane, but it's actually leading to a very spiritual result for you. Master number. So I don't know, before we get into the tarot, it, it looks like a very overall, a very empowering month for you despite what you think based off that spread. Let's go ahead and start this reading off with some pre-shuffled oracle cards from the universe here. And these are just some messages for you from the universe for December. And the first one you have here is Master Jesus, Forgiveness. Okay, so you are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. All right, now there is a, a message here, you know, that spirit is not going to condemn you for anything that you've done or for any way that you've treated people in the past. There's a sub message coming in here for you, Sagittarius, that there's no one when you go to heaven and when you die, there's no one like waiting in heaven, like wagging their finger, like didn't do that right, Sagittarius. That's a human construct. And, you know, God loves you unconditionally, no matter what you've done. Jesus is all about free will. Okay, and, and to make a new choice and to be re reborn right now, because every moment is a new moment. And every moment, we're sh metaphysically, we're shifting through billions of parallel realities every moment. Every single moment, you are born again new. That's what the universe is about. That's a little bit of a wacky message here. But, you know, some of you practically are going to be, you know, some sort of master teacher. Whether you're learning a lesson from someone or whether you're teaching a lesson from someone, you have the number 777. The number 7 is a teacher, but then Jesus represents 33, which is the master teacher. So there's definitely a lot of teaching going on through your relationships, you know, a, a lot of important lessons going on. I feel like you're on both ends of it, to be honest. For some of you, there's going to be something to, around your father. 
okay, literal father, clearing energy with your father. Some of you are very, uh, you don't wanna upset your father subconsciously, especially the ladies out there. Whether your father's alive or dead, there's something here about your father's expectations holding you back. Just get it, not gonna be for all of you, but you know, there's definitely something about clearing a fighting energy here you know, especially teaching. So choose to forgive. Okay. Choose to forgive is what I would say, because you don't have to <clears throat> forgive yourself because you deserve it. Forgive other people because they deserve it. You need to forgive for your own peace because when you hold on to a grudge here, it, it really influences your, your, what you're creating. And it seems like that's what you're dealing with here because when it comes to your opportunity, you have the nine of swords and this is to deal with the situation that is keeping you up at night. Some of you here, your opportunity is to realize, in a sense, you have been stabbed in the back. I mean, I, this is not a message that I like to give, but there could be a message here, you know, of some of you having to deal with your grief, your grievance about something going on where you feel, you could feel, you know, a little bit stabbed in the back. Something's keeping you up at night. I don't know. But no matter what, it's definitely choosing to forgive and choosing unconditional love and having the strength to do that is a lesson you're meant to learn here. So I don't know, Master Jesus forgiveness. You also have Saint Germain karma releasing. Move beyond drama, create your own path and make room for good energy. So whenever Saint uh, Germain comes out, it's really clearing social connections. You know, Saint Germain was rubbing shoulders with royalty uh, when he was alive. Saint Germain was said to be like born you know, had to like change his identity and was born to like two very powerful beings or something. But and there's definitely something about you releasing past relationships right now. And it's going to be very abundant for you. Not at first though, you know, but because first you have to disconnecting from, you have to disconnect from something where you've been unfairly treated. I feel for many of you Sagittarius could once again, your opportunities to realize maybe you've been stabbed in the back. Uh, and maybe it's a result of your own choices. I don't know. We're going to have to see, but I do feel like there's a group of people or there's a person that just you're clearing out of your life. You learned a lesson here. Now, the next energy here is Diana focused intention. Think about what you desire, set your sights high and expect the best possible outcome. So you'll, you'll only go as far as your mind can reach. And so this is definitely to focus, you know, to hold on to an intention, you know, to intentionally create understanding. Mind creates reality. The law of attraction is an absolute reality that governs this reality. And I feel like this is to hold intentions despite the drama that you're clearing, because this whole reading is about forgiveness, teacher, master teacher. I do feel like whatever drama that you're clearing, lessons were taught on both sides, on both sides. But I feel like one side was more than the other because you know, I'm a life path 33. And for some reason, I always deal with sevens, life path seven, because sevens are the teacher. I'm a 33. That's the master teacher. I don't mean I didn't make it up. Don't you? I didn't make it up. Didn't make up numerology, folks. So some of you are mad at that. I, but there could be something to do with a master teacher dealing with another teacher or something to do with teaching each other, but one level's higher than the other. I just, I don't know, take it as it resonates. You may have to be a master teacher to someone who's trying to teach you. It goes both ways, but clearly there's a lot of karma being cleared here and you need to still focus on your law of attraction routine. You need to set your sights high. You need, you need to have a goal because happiness in this life, in this earth plane, it, it comes from desire. Happiness is always around the corner especially for you Sagittarius. And I feel like don't lose sight of the things that you're creating with your mind. Now, interestingly enough, Diana is the renamed Roman name for uh, Artemis. Now, if you look at Artemis, who really is Diana, the Greek version, she was like kind of like a, a, a badass woman. I mean, she was fit, she was in shape. And so some of you ladies out there, I do feel like a lot of the way that you're gonna get through this drama is actually through focusing on your physical body and your strength here. Ironically, whether you're a man or woman, I think strength, it, take it or resonate, just some of these specific things come through. When it comes to your advice from spirit, you have the strength card. And because you have Diana in the message, you know, who is Artemis, there could be something about developing your physical body or taking up some sort of physical new beginning to, to help get your mind off this relational drama. Because I just feel like you're really stuck in a web of 
lessons being taught in a karmic sense. Some of you are going to clear karmic relationships finally. Some of you, if there was a relationship that came into your life very fast and exited just as fast, or there's something about a relationship dissolving in December, this is clearly a karmic relationship. Some of you, I don't mean to scare you and take it as it resonates. Some of you don't take on this message if it doesn't apply to you. But if it resonates, I do feel like there's this karmic relationship being cleared. You may have had to be around someone or a group of people for a time for karma to be cleared between the two of you. And now you're kind of left in the rubble of that is what I sense. Now, do I really want to go there? There is an off the wall message for some of you ladies out there. All right. Diana, when we look at Artemis, when you study Artemis, who really is Diana, she was like this buff in shape female. And it does talk about lesbian relationships. You know, some of you females out there may have to resolve you know, like your your own shame that you feel from masculine judgment around same-sex relationships, especially at, when it comes to you being attracted to a strong woman or you being strong. With, that may be a side of yourself that you need to explore as a woman with Artemis and Jesus coming out and karma clearing. Not going to be for all of you, but for some of you with the strength card, you know, th th that may be going on for some of the ladies out there. Obviously not all of you, but Sagittarius, I mean, you said, <laughs> okay, hold on. All right, now let's get into the reading. Once again, this is a very lucky month for you. Part of the reason why the sun is in Sagittarius at a lot of your, the sun signs to your birthday. Mars is going to be in Sagittarius, the planet Mars, in December, which means you ha your own energy is here to really push forward here. But your opportunity is the Nine of Swords. And I feel like this is the moment before the Ten of Swords. There's a, there's a little bit of cellular karma that's being scrubbed out of the cells of your body, especially when it comes to, you know, some sort of karmic relationship. Either you, you know, your opportunity may be to realize that someone feels like you stabbed them in the back. And this could be a mutual thing. Remember, I, there's a reason why I keep channeling the thing about Jesus is a life path 333. And you have this seven. 333, 33 is the master teacher. Seven is the teacher, Right. And so there could be this thing about two, you know, both people feeling like they're getting stabbed in the back, but it's not really personal. The universe is, is using a person in your life to clear your own karma and vice versa. So don't take this personal. Have gratitude. Wow, this person could trigger me. This, per, this person could trigger me. That means I, there's love there. You know, it, you don't, it's just, this is not an energy of I don't care. I don't care. And that's what you do when you escape love. You're not escaping your emotions. You're in this karmic clearing with relationships in your life right now. And I feel like it's very intense for you. I just had something to say and I lost it, whatever. Um, so the nine of swords is your opportunity. So what is keeping you up at night is an opportunity to look at it. We're going to have to clarify in a moment. For some of you, your whole life is changing here. There could be travel involved. That's very stressful to you. There could be a desire for it. In your challenge... Your challenge, Sagittarius, for December is the Knight of Wands. And I think of the Knight of Wands as your own energy, you know, for some of you out there. The Knight of Wands is a very in and out energy. It's very youthful, enthusiastic, but inconsistent here. And in your challenge, it also has to do with travel and just kind of traveling on a whim. There could be a very nasty situation that some of you are going to physically travel away from. Or there could be a new travel opportunity that for some reason it's there, but it's challenging for you. I don't know. We're going to have to see. Some of you, this drama may be the result of inconsistency. Okay. This could be you're feeling a lot of pain because someone that you love is no longer being as consistently communicative with you. And that keeps you up at night. But once again, this is deeper. It's karma clearing for you. I'm telling you. So maybe someone's inconsistent, useful kind of like energy is, is your challenge. For some of you, this is your own energy that you're going to have to really look at. We're going to have to see why. I do feel like travel is in your challenge though. So <clears throat> when it comes to your overall general energy, like I said, you have the 777 frequency. Go look up the number 777. Okay. But it's major, major spiritual change, good luck, and a lot of teaching energy going on, karma clearing. Seven of pentacles in reverse, seven of cups upright and the seven of swords here so i really feel like you're in you're going to disconnect from something that was a bad investment or something i feel like it's a relationship for most of you you're, you're getting out of it because you're just getting hurt over and over again the seven of swords has to do with deception stealing going behind someone's back also removing yourself from a sketchy situation before you get hurt right the seven of swords is taking the swords from the camp so that the swords can't be used against this person so some of you are really going to be clearing a lot of confusing karma i feel like there's a relationship 
you know, whether this is to do with a group of people, your father, your own self, you know, whatever this is, there's a very confusing karmic relationship that you're clearing. That's just what I get. It's confusing, it hurts, but you have to do it. But it is still 777. There's master teacher. There's something I do feel for many of you, you have to go through this in December for you to become your highest actualized self. Because when you go on the path of spirituality and you come to this reading and you don't just want to watch Jerry Springer and you want to better yourself, you're going to be tested. You're going to be thrown things to, but it's all for your highest good here. But there is something about forgiveness and karma releasing. I mean, don't let this create a black hole in your heart. Whatever happened that made you feel like you got stabbed in the back, you know, this is conditional love. It's not unconditional. You're in your advice. You're being asked to take the high road. King of Cups. And it's probably for your own benefit, but still. So hold on, Sagittarius. When it comes to what you don't see coming, it doesn't get any more clear. It actually gets more confusing. So yes, I will tell you for sure, December will feel very confusing to most of you. It will just feel confusing. It will. Whether this is, you know... Some of you career matters is gonna, if it's not to do with love, it's clearing your own karma for you to be ready for a new career. Your life purpose is activating, but it's confusing. And uh, when it comes to what you don't see coming, I mean, you have the five of pentacles, the high priestess and the five of wands. Once again, the number five has to do with change. It also has to do with sexual energy. Okay, and you also have the high priestess here. So there could be something developing about your own sexuality that's an intuitive. Once again, you have the Artemis card, whatever that means, I don't know. But you have this intuition potentially around change of what you need to change. A lot of change is coming and what you don't see coming. Some of you are going to travel to some place where you feel like a little bit new there. Uh, there's a lot of competition feeling like you're in the outside and the high priestess. So once again, I feel like there's such deep work going on on an energetic level having to do with forgiveness, karma clearing, relationships, leaving your life, you going somewhere new. It's very scary, but I feel like if you trust your intuition through this, you actually are in alignment. Okay, you're going through a very painful experience that's going to reboot you, recalibrate you into alignment. But in what you don't see coming, I mean, you really might feel like an outsider. Someone could be making you feel like... You know, you're too focused on your destiny at this time, too focused on competition and developing yourself. But no matter how you cut it, there is a lot of intuitive development going on for you or just development. I mean, the five of wands has to do with competition, but it also has to do with training yourself. So I feel like amidst the chaos, you know, amidst the lack of financial stability, amidst the competition, you know, amidst the betrayal, your spiritual connection is very deep right now. You're, and what you don't see coming despite the chaos, you're going to feel a very, very, very deep connection. That's actually, I'm getting that. Here's the thing. There's been a long time. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me right now because I'm getting it strong. There's been a long time on this channel that I've been trying to fire you up. I feel like the Sagittarius readings on this channel feel more like a motivational speaker. Like It's like a motivational, like fire, like get angry, like blah, blah, blah. You're clearing to elevate out of that now. And yes, you're still going to be taking action, <clears throat> but it's not going to be coming from a place of anger. It's it, it, your consciousness is elevating out of a problem. Remember how Albert Einstein or someone said, you can't solve a problem from the same level of consciousness that the problem was created. Your problem is here. You're swimming through it right now, December. But I'm telling you, by the end of December, you're going to you're gonna be like up and be able to look down on it and your frequency is raising not through taking all this action it's actually just a natural byproduct of forgiveness and love and strength and taking the high road because in your advice no matter what's going on you have the king of cups you have the world and you have the strength card this is unconditional love and spiritual energy um the King of Cups is very aware of emotional undercurrents, and this is someone who's very loving, okay? This is someone who's aware, okay, that, you know, maybe I'm making someone feel like this, or maybe someone made me feel like this, but you're going to overcome this. There's a, there's a softening to your energy. You know, the Strength card has to do with moving through a very difficult situation with grace, and that is... your That is your advice. I mean, the, the, the King of Cups is immaculately graceful. Are very graceful and so is the strength card there could be a difficult situation with a leo for some of you there's going to be a new leo coming into your life and i do feel that there's a there's something i just did a reading for leo there's a connection between leo sagittarius some of you there's going to be a leo coming into your life in december 2023 and if you meet a leo and they're new spirit is advising you 
go with the Leo. Go with the Leo in their big three. Sun, moon, rising, Leo. Sagittarius, in December, it's there. It's an upgrade. I mean, you have the world card. There's definitely, here's the thing. I feel like you are clearing the last little bit of karmic debris in the cells of your body, okay? And it may, some of you may have an experience of your actually, your emotions and this clearing is actually making you literally sick or unwell in what you don't see coming. And this is something you can't go to a doctor about because you gotta go to Dr. Mystic. I'm not a doctor, I don't claim to have medical advice, but what I will tell you is this. Um, some of you could like literally see a reflection of your own suffering in your physical body this month, and which is why, you know, you have the Diana Artemis, the buff woman coming out here. The, the, the message, you know, you need to be a strong woman. Focus on your body. Not just focus on your body, but how emotions feeding into the body create physical ailments. And I do feel like with all the drama that you're clearing, there may be a little bit of, you know, I don't feel good. I don't really feel good in December. Physically, you may not feel good. And it's a result of this emotional energy. Because here's the thing about this reality. I remember, you can be 99 years old and eat Twinkies every day of your life. You can have no vegetables. You can smoke cigarettes. You can do anything you want. If love is in your heart and you're free of karma and you have loving connections around you, you will live to 100 plus with absolutely horrific diet based on emotional well-being that's the thing that's the secret they don't want to tell you about now the question is why would someone who has an emotional well-being still be using coping mechanisms i'm not sure but you are a sagittarius and you like to experiment so i cannot blame you but now my name is vladimir but i am not eastern european i come from the not the highlands motherfucker but hold on i'm sorry um where was i <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and, and go into the clarification portion of this reading. Do not forgive anyone because they deserve it, Sagittarius. Forgive them because you, for they not they know not what they do, and you need to protect your own peace right now. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this. Let's clarify why the Nine of Swords is your opportunity. Why is the Nine of Swords your opportunity, Sagittarius, for December 2023? Yeah, it's crazy that card wanted to pop out. It did. All right. Yeah, you're definitely moving away from drama in interpersonal relationships. The Nine of Swords in your opportunities, clarify for the Six of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and also the Three of Cups. I really feel like for a lot of you, if travel is in your opportunity, if travel is available to you, I would do it. I think for a lot of you, the physical place that you're living is actually holding you back right now, especially when it comes to keeping this karma intact, potentially having to do with your father for some of you or people holding you down. And there's a quick decision to implement new social relations into your life. You have the Knight of Swords and you have the Three of Cups. This is quick decision. This is fast moving energy when it comes to having a good time. There's definitely this energy of clearing karma, clearing third party energy, if that resonates with you and moving away from drama, clearing karma, clearing drama, like I said, and uh, it may feel very scary to you, but this is what is going on here. I just had something to say again and I forgot it. Well, I guess it wasn't meant to be said, but Sagittarius. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is, this is rough, but let, let's keep going. Uh, let's clarify why uh, the Seven of Swords is in your overall general life. Like, what is this about? Because I feel like this will sum up, you know, a lot of this, a lot of this sketch energy. Let's see, why is the Seven of Swords here in your overall general energy? Seven of Swords is clarified by the Page of Cups and the King of Swords. Yeah, you need to guard yourself against immaturity right now. An immature individual who just wants to play games with you is kind of what I feel. This is a very contrasting energy that you have a mature individual and you have an immature one right next to it. So I feel like you're going to actually set a boundary with an immature person so that you can avoid getting hurt and so that you avoid someone creating drama and hurting you. It's not going to be easy for you to do this. Uh, once again, you have the 777 frequency. So there's definitely something about teaching you know, someone could be giving the lesson of maturity while the other one has the blessing of immaturity and it just triggers the hell out of both of you, but you actually both have something to share. But, wow, I don't know, if Sagittarius, this is intense. Your social life karma is definitely being cleared right now. 
Um, let's go ahead and clarify why Sagittarius, the Knight of Wands is your challenge. Why is the Knight of Wands your challenge? Yeah, you could be traveling somewhere and you feel stuck, or you could feel stuck either way. Like you want to escape, you know, but you feel stuck in, this could have to do with karma. Uh, yeah, the Knight of Wands is clarified by the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, again, and the Five of Cups. So yeah, something that you've invested in that you feel trapped in, like me and this person just have this bond, this soul connection. Uh, it's causing you too much grief and you're deciding to move away here. Uh, this person or this group of people, whatever the drama is associated with, you felt locked into it. Once again, it's keeping you up at night. You've got to move away from it. Um, some of you regarding your own travel, it might be scary. You know, you might be taking like the last money you have and like just saying, I'm, I'm getting out of town. But if it means you avoiding abuse or, you know, drama, then maybe that's the thing you do. I feel like that is the thing you do. But um, I don't know. Let's just get some advice for you. Let's go ahead and see why. Why is the King of Cups here? Because you see, this is about unconditional love and forgiveness and being the bigger person. Let's see. And being aware of like why the person you're dealing with is acting the way that they are. Aware of emotional undercurrents. But that takes a lot of maturity. So let's see. Why is the King of Cups here in your advice? The King of Cups in your advice is clarified by the Seven of Swords in reverse the empress and also the page of swords here um yeah i mean some of you really could feel betrayed in the physical realm like someone ghosted you or you're just not talking physically anymore or something to do with your abundance here you need to forgive even if it ain't right and that's the main message i'm getting forgive them for your own sake not because someone for deserves to be forgiven number one realize hurt people hurt people if someone's hurting you i bet you bet you didn't start with them so first of all, don't take it personally. The second part of it is forgive them, not because like their actions aren't bad, but because you deserve to be 